I'm here once again and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for you know being around once again. It's lovely having you around. What could I have done without you guys? Thanks, thanks very much. So today, what are we gonna be talking about? I will be talking about digital marketing and um web design. Now, some persons might be like, why do I have to combine these particular two topics together? Hence they are different things entirely, but then what I, I think is that there is a very good career opportunities in these two niches and you know uh, I can say web design is a sub niche of you know digital marketing but uh, both are very good these are niches that you can actually go and do exploit so without any reason I'm combining them together and we are going to be you know talking about them today so before we continue if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please click on that subscription button right now it is very important to you and if you are a returning subscriber do like the video and if you find it interesting share with your audiences share with your contacts share with your friends and your loved ones and i'll be glad you do so we'll be talking about digital marketing and web design i want you to learn those two skills if you are just starting your um, online marketing journey or your digital journey now someone will be like why do you want me to learn these particular skills why do i have to choose these skills in this um, short video i'll be telling you i'll be showing you the reason why you have to choose these two particular skills and i'll be showing you the career path in these two uh, two skills i'll be showing you why you need to choose them i'll be showing you why uh, uh, um, they are you know the best when you are starting and i will show you the career paths the things that you can actually do after you have acquired these skills now don't go anywhere after this short break we'll come back and we go into this tutorial free all right guys and you're welcome back so without wasting much of our time let's go straight into the business of the day so uh we're gonna be talking about learning digital marketing and web design as i have said earlier we're going to be having just three main sub topics under this topic, which is why, right? That is why do you have to choose this uh, career? Why do you have to choose these skills and then career opportunities in these skills and how to start these skills? I don't want to bug you with too much words, so uh, without further ado, let's go straight into the business. Now, the first, uh, the second slide you will see is what is digital marketing? That's the first thing you should ask yourself. What is digital marketing? You're, you're trying to get into something. When you're trying to get into something, I think what you should, should learn first is okay, what is this particular thing I'm trying to get into? So, digital marketing is the component of marketing that uses the internet and online based digital technologies such as desktop, computers, you know, mobile phones, and other digital media and platforms to promote products and services. It's development during the 1990s and, uh, you know, 2000s change the way brands and businesses use technology for marketing so that is digital mar digital marketing you know this is a very long and you know worthy um, definition but it's just uh it is a, a type of marketing that uses the internet and online based digital technologies uh, you know to facilitate its marketing you know you use mobile phones we uh digital platforms you use social media and audio you know, Gadget, you use the internet, you used so many of all those things to learn, uh, to, to facilitate your digital marketing. You know, as digital platforms became increasingly incorporated into marketing plans and everyday life, and as people increasingly um, use digital services instead of, you know, visiting uh, physical shops, digital marketing campaigns have become prevalent, employing combinations of search engines. So digital marketing uh, is very important in our day-to-day -day activities because, you know, as humans, we tend to always look for how to make things better. We tend to always look for how to make life easier. We tend to always look for how to make more money. How can we do more? Why doing less? So this is where digital marketing comes in. Digital marketing helps our everyday life, you know. It helps our everyday life to, to, to facilitate the things we do to make life easier uh you know 
for, in, for instance, if uh, if you're selling something online, let's say e-commerce, someone can just actually come online and instead of going to a local or traditional market in their area, they can just press their food and within some minutes they've ordered for food or whatsoever they need and then it gets delivered into you know their ha their house or their apartment or their office wherever it gets delivered that's an aspect of digital marketing it makes life easy now <clears throat> i don't want to waste much of our time now, you can see the image uh, on the screen right now uh, branding is excuse me so you can see the digital marketing at the center of everything we have branding we have advertising we have the internet we have the social media we have the content you know product market analysis target and so on and so forth these are under digital marketing now a digital marketer must be able to must possess some skills before you can call yourself a digital marketer you must possess some skills now who is a digital marketer if digital marketing is a component of marketing that uses internet and online based digital technology uh, and the computer to do its stuff then a digital marketer is someone who uses um, internet and online based digital technologies for his marketing for their marketing it is what it is so without wasting much of our time as i was saying earlier before you can call yourself a digital marketer there are some things she should be able to do before you can call yourself a digital marketer there are some skills you must possess you don't just call yourself a digital marketer you don't know how to run ad you don't know how to you don't, you don't know how to uh, uh, target audience you don't know how to um, you don't know how to use the social media you don't know how to use the internet you don't know how to brand you don't know how to conduct market analysis and you don't even know how to sell online then you are definitely not a digital marketer a digital marketer must possess some of these things before you can call yourself a digital marketer these skills you must possess that is why digital marketer is at the center of all of this all of this okay going forward now okay this is continuation so uh, uh, a digital platform became in as digital platform became increasingly incorporated into marketing plans and everyday life and as people increasingly use uh, digital devices instead of visiting physical shops you know digital marketing campaigns have become prevalent combinations of search engine optimization that is SEO search engine uh, marketing and content marketing influencer marketing content automation campaign marketing data driven marketing e-commerce marketing social media marketing social media optimization email direct marketing you know display advertising ebooks and so on and so forth are all under digital marketing you must know how to market now the the the, the, the normal the traditional way of marketing is you know the offline way of marketing where you go and meet people you know you you table your idea to them you propose to them and you know if they think what you're saying resonates with them and they can actually buy into your idea then they buy your product or they buy your service but in digital marketing you can facilitate everything online in fact you don't need to know who is buying from you but someone who, 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 who is buying from you must know you, you know, and not actually in uh, all instances because we have what we call, uh, call a faceless brand so and faceless marketing. Now it's a it's a brand of marketing in which you don't actually need to show your face. There are many brands online that are thriving, and you don't actually know the face behind it. You don't actually know the person behind them. You just know that these brands are doing well. Then we have other brands where we have people. We know the founder and we know the manager or server that are operating them. So, digital marketing extends to non-internet channels that provide digital media such as, you know, television, mobile phones, SMS and MMS, callback and on hold mobile link. To. So, the extension to non-channels differentiates digital marketing from online advertising. Now, the extension to non-internet channels differentiate uh, uh, digital marketing and online advertising. This is one of the differences between a digital marketer and an online advertiser. If you are advertising online, you are, you are necessarily not a digital marketer. A digital marketer uh, partly leaves the online channel, leaves the internet channel, and you know takes it offline. But they are not actually going offline like opening a physical shop. It is not necessary as a as a digital marketer. So. 
what are we saying an online advertiser strictly advertise online but the digital marketer will use sms and nms and you know some offline store to facilitate their marketing so we talked about search engine optimization uh, search engine marketing content marketing influence marketing and uh, content automation campaign marketing data drift. so these are the things i told you earlier i had talked about this earlier that there are some things that if you do not possess them you are not worthy of calling yourself a digital marketer so if you don't know, know uh, uh, some or any of these do not even bother to call yourself a uh, uh, you know a digital marketer because you are actually making a joke of yourself you're not a digital marketer as a digital marketer you must possess some of these skills before you can be qualified now web design what is web design web design is what creates the overall look and feel when you're using a website it's the process of planning and building the elements of your website from structure and layout to color images and graphics. You know, web design has numerous components that work together to create finished experience of a website, including graphics design, you know, user experience, design interface, and so on and so forth. SEO is also part content creation. This element determines how the website looks, feels, uh, and works on various devices. Check out this in depth together and building a website if you want to learn more about the whole process so if you want to be, learn how to build a website i you will see the link in the description below that that's a, a three-day um, program i did sometimes earlier so web design is different from web development which is actual coding you know the actual coding that makes the website work when you're building a website you need both the web design and web development although you can find web designers who are also web and ux developers these are dis distinct skill sets so they are very different we're not talking about web developers or ux you know designer here we're talking about web design now good web design isn't subjective listen very carefully to this good web design isn't subjective with other types of design like illustration or sticker design a lot of what constitutes good is up to the viewers taste that is what makes your website good or bad is the viewers taste their ability to go to your website and find what they need is what makes your website a good one you know i'm a web designer so i know what i'm talking about here uh, so with web design the line between good and not good is much more defined a well designed website is a website that perfectly creates the experience your visitor is looking for so if it is not creating the experience your visitor is looking for i'm sorry it is not a good web design at least for your visitor so good web design is subjective i've said this earlier you know web design that works is web design that converting where we speak when we say convert it means getting the user to take a specific action and you know when user follows through with an action like website is set then uh take up them uh to take your website made a conversion a conversion can be anything like sign up or for a newsletter making a purchase opening an account Accessing content on the website effective design brings a few different elements together to promote conversions. So I'm just trying to, you know, in this slide, I'm trying to let you know uh, what constitutes a good web design is, you know, the ability to put up the elements, uh, the images, the structure of, you know, uh, that will satisfy the uh, your visitor, not actually to your own taste, but the taste of your visitor when we say a website is good it is uh, the experience of the user that will determine if your website is good you might build the best website in the world but if your visitor or maybe let's say your potential client visits that website and they can't actually find what they are looking for to them it is not good because the purpose of visiting the website is not fulfilled the purpose of building a website is not to just make it look fine or beautiful or all shade of beauty and then at the end of the day you can generate sales clients don't find anything there you know users can't find anything there you are the only one enjoying your website it's a pity that is not a good website a good website must, must satisfy you and also most importantly your client your visitors your potential customers must be satisfied not just you 
that is uh, that is where your market research comes in now what do you think your visitors will look for what do you think your potential clients needs what do you, th do you think your target audience wants it's up to you to do your market analysis to do your market research and get uh, you know answer these questions and then put all this uh, uh, your research work together to form elements images and whatsoever you're trying to be and get that visitor to take the action you want them to take that is that about web design and uh, you know okay so the elements what are the components that you know that contribute to a good website that will make your website to actually do the work that you want them to do compelling use of negative space now presented choices for the user the fewer choices the user has the less likely they are to become overwhelmed and confused i will read that again the fewer choices the user has the less likely they are to become overwhelmed and, and confused let's say for instance now you are asking uh, i am trying to illustrate it now you are trying to promote a, a, a product and then you are saying if you don't want to buy a then there is b b this is the features of a and this is the features of b and then if you want b you can take c and if you leave c everything on the same page it will leave your user confused your website after being well structured the product and the services you are trying to render must be well and neatly structured such that it will be very easy for your user to navigate and then make their choice and you know take the action you want them to take and then they leave the website okay you cannot create upsell or maybe downsell that's a different thing it takes them to a different page entirely but when but when you stack a page with so many stops it leaves your user confused and they don't even know what to do at the end of the day they just scroll and scroll and scroll and they don't do anything with it that is a wasted visit to your website and i believe you don't want that to happen the reason you created this website is to generate sales it's not just to look beautiful it's not to just tell people i have a website it's not to just show it up i'm a web designer no it is for you to generate sales so if the website is not serving its purpose then the website is as good as not having a website now the number three is obvious clear cost to action let your uh, uh, uh cost to action your cta be very clear and obvious let them see it this is the action they are taking this is uh, what they are doing this is what they are buying this is the product and this is what they are getting and let the call to action be very obvious not just hiding in between some words or elements must be neatly spaced and you know structured such that when they see it they take the action they know that this is what you want them to do they know that this is the place they are going and then they go there straight forward and take the action let your cta be very clear and obvious number four limited distraction and a well thought out user journey that is using only images and text that are 100 percent relevant to uh, the subject on the page featuring only buttons that leads to desired actions and using font variations for emphasis and calls to action not just for the sake of featuring different fonts not just you know doing this and doing that just for <laughs> for doing sake so you are, you need to try your best to avoid uh, distractions for your users you have to make sure that your user is less uh, sorry your user is less distracted when they are navigating your web page when they are navigating your website you have to make sure they are less distracted remove any form of distraction make sure your fonts uh, uh, you know are correlating with each, each, each other your images are neatly set your text also they are 100 percent relevant not just adding long words and you know <laughs> i want to be like chinedu chinedu is a copywriter that writes long copies you know precious used to have uh, write long copies and our pages is is you know you have to scroll like five minutes before you get to the end of our sales page and you are still reading and reading no 
it is not everyone who will uh, um, write long copies if all you know how to do is a short copy and precise and then it will pull in a trigger it will make them to pull the trigger it will make them to take the action you want them to take do not say because uh, Baba Atunde is using long copy a sales page takes 10 minutes to, to, to navigate to the end you want to also do it no you are doing your website a lot of time more than good you are not Baba Atunde you are not Chinedu you are yourself so you must do uh, uh you must be very well careful of what you were doing not just for the sake of featuring content not just for the sake of writing and not just for the sake of doing it for the sake of doing it do it because it's necessary put it because it's important put it because you need it put it because your user will need it not because you want it to be there you're not the one buying everything you're doing you're doing for the user so you must put your user into consideration so the last one is responsive design what is responsiveness responsiveness is you know the ability of your website to uh, be easily navigated on any device from a pc to tablet to mobile device your website is just good to go when a, a, a tablet user is navigating they're good to go when someone picks up their phone when they use their laptop they are good to go and everything is just working well that is responsiveness so uh last slide here before we close for days now why do you need to learn this i told you i'll show you why you need to learn this because it is the new normal digital marketing is the new normal it is the new normal it is where the world is currently so you can't afford to be left behind anything can happen 2020 the world was totally locked down we were shut down no one is leaving their home people were you know people were just uh, the uh, they have to do everything they want to do inside their house you don't have the assets to go out digital marketing tried so this is the it, it it is the new normal that you know how to sell online it is the new normal that you know how to sell your product even without leaving the comfort of your home you should get to your audience you should get to uh, uh, your potential buyers then there are career opportunities different career opportunities in digital marketing you can make it your career you can you can actually um let me say uh, uh, uh you can get employed if that's what you want fine or you can be working independently from home or an office wherever you choose to work it's you're good to go so no educational background the uh, um digital marketing doesn't need you to be uh, a master's order in computer science a master's order in uh, mba in uh, whatsoever and whatsoever you know you're good to go and you, you know how to communicate you can communicate with your you know, clients and your users very well now disclaimer this is not to tell you not to go to school or to ab abandon your education i'm just telling you that um, digital marketing doesn't need your educational certificate before you can start now financial stability and freedom that is with uh, digital marketing your financial stability and freedom is guaranteed if you can put in the work required you will definitely reap the uh, reap the fruit of the land flexibility it is you know these skills are flexible you can do them from the comfort of your home you don't need to get an office you don't need to get a bogus office or maybe the biggest uh, you know office in town before you start you no know, you can start where you are and right now you can start and then you have started so it's easy to start it's easy to start there's no huge capital needed you don't need any huge, huge capital to start digital marketing with your phone with your laptop you can start and you know from there you start with what you have and as you grow you know your company grows whatever you do grows now if you want to learn web design i am a web designer i believe you know i'm a web designer so i have taught web design in a three-day live class called the web design bootcamp and it's on this youtube channel you can search for the videos just check the playlist on this channel the web design bootcamp is a three-day bootcamp and if you go through those videos i believe you would also know how to design a website and i'll be launching a course on web design very soon if you would like to get that you can also send me a message and i'll be glad to respond to your message and also i'll be dropping the link for this particular video in the description 
below so you can check it out so for digital marketing there are several online academy that offers that you can send me a message if you need guidance you know we have several online uh, digital uh, sorry digital schools that you can go and digital academy that you can go and learn this particular skill i won't be mentioning uh, the name of any school but if you come to my dm or you send me a mail i will respond to you and i will actually guide you i'll give you whatever uh, uh you think you may need to get started so for career opportunities i've told you earlier if you want to be working independently or you want to get employed the career opportunity is there for you it's left to you what do you want to do with your skill after you must have acquired that skill so and that will be that on learning uh, uh digital marketing and web design for today i want to thank you for being a part of this program i hope you've learned something you've learned one thing or the other if there's anything you don't understand do not hesitate to um send me a message or don't worry just drop a comment under this video and i'll be glad to respond to it please if it is about this video just drop a comment under this video i'll be responding to all comments that will need answer under this video and thank you very much for watching if you are a new uh if you are a visitor here this is your first time please do well to subscribe if you are a returning uh, person and you have not subscribed please subscribe i am begging you subscribe so and also please if you find this video interesting click on that like button it is very important to help the youtube algorithm so that they will know that this video is good for others and then they will recommend it to them also you can recommend this video and share with your tribe share with your friends uh, share with your loved ones and i'll be glad you do that you know it encourages us to put more content out there after all we're doing this for free this is you know the least you can do at least to appreciate what we do here so thank you very much and see you in the next video